and welcome to another episode of Keep It Real. We are coming to you from the heartbeat of the Caribbean, Port of Spain, Trinidad. I'm your host, Ms. Janae, and this week we are here to discuss something faith, fabulous, and absolutely ferocious. It's the latest fad that I like to call them fitness. 2013 is all about fusion and our guests today have managed to blend the sexy, the sweaty, with an emphasis on sound health. This is Keep It Real, darling. Presenting Ms. Janae. I'm a Here with us today we have she, S-H-E. I have Jarell. Jarell, tell me exactly what S-H-E, what does S-H-E stand for? S-H-E, she stands for sexy, healthy, energetic. Oh, I love it. Sexy, mm-hmm. healthy, energetic. And this is? Jale. Jale. You're confused. Just not. Yes. Jarell. That's right. Jale. And then there's Joella. Joella. Yes. Who else? Trisha. Trisha. <laughs> and Sabrina. Her. And Sabrina. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Jarell, Jale, Trisha, 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 That's right. They make up the five instructors. Yes. Nice. Tell me exactly what is she about? Like, what is it? Yes. Right. So she is this center that we have created for women, an alternative to gym and a little escape. Oh, so it's only for uh, women? It is. So men? No men? If you call and ask nicely. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. But originally it's designed just for women so that, because um, we discovered that women tend to feel very uncomfortable exploring that sensual side and coming okay. out of their shell, especially when they're around men. Right. So if you're in a space where it's just women only, mm-hmm. then you get to open up and come out of your shell. Okay. Let go of your, your inhibitions and just go. I like that. Now, she is a blend of sexy, healthy, energetic. So it's basically exercise mixed with Sensuality. Sensuality. Exploring yourself. Um, we discovered that a lot of women. When is it sensual? I thought she only said that whole in this poll and watching me straight in the dead center. My eye, what is going on with you, lady? Present me something. I want to see something about you. So that is working the arms, the legs, the inner thighs, the outer thighs, the glutes. So now a lot of people oh. have this. Hey! <laughs> but have this misconception that poor you need to come with upper body strength or you need mm-hmm. to have strength to start off with it, which is not entirely wow. true because when I started I was nothing. Ooh, slide on down that pole. Yeah. And most times you don't necessarily need upper body only. For example, okay. if Jale climbs again, mm-hmm. she's, she's using her upper body and then she grips with her legs. You can see right there, Jale. And just grip with your legs and she can release with her arms only. Hello. Ooh, woo. This so, is a all her thighs are like gripping there mm-hmm. completely with the pole. So, and by the end of the session, you're sweaty. Yeah. And you've worked out. Yeah. yeah. And you've explored and then, your sensuality. Well, this is just the physical part of it. This is just the workout part of it. Because we have like basic exercises. Because, I mean, okay, you want to lose that belly mm-hmm. area, that tummy mm-hmm. area. You can do crunches. Or our version of crunches, Jale will, will demonstrate. You have your obliques. Go over here. And the more you reach out your hands to the side, that's one hand, and then both hands. Which have a little dancer finish again. But some things we can't hide. I love it. And then if you're doing uh, basic crunches, so if she grips on the side, or this is lower back extension. Uh, Lower back, just now. Wait now. Basic crunches. But this would be lower back. You go ahead, girl. I practice it. You practice it. Yes. Good. Basic crunch up. not quite. That's not a crunch? No, no, more like this. Okay, so if we do this. Ah, watch, let me show you. See, so again, the arms and the quad part. Oh. That was, was actually not bad. See? That wasn't bad at all. My first time you're doing this 10 years <laughs> Why would I, as a female mm-hmm. wanting to exercise, why would I choose to come to she? Instead of he, be, we, we, and all the other gym. All the average gym. Yes. Um, women were saying that one, they're very uncomfortable to go to the gym, as well as people were bored. Bored. They were just 
Bored. I'm tired. This is something new, fresh, engaging. And, yes, and I also like that it engages the entire body. Right. Body, body, body. I mean, check us out on Facebook, Facebook. on Instagram, so, on Twitter, the website. Phone number. You have a phone number. We have various phone numbers. But Give me one. The main one. 2905864. 2905864. Fitness 2905864. Ladies, I want to thank you all for coming on the show. It has been fabulous having you on. And we will actually catch you at the end. Just for a tidbit of she once again. Smidget, and you're going to join us? Yes, maybe. You're lovely. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. We'll be back with more from Keep It Real. And we're back. This time, we're a bit more grounded. I am here with Karen Blackman. She is the founder and owner of the Sangha Trinidad. Um, and this episode, we're talking about fitness. We're talking about women. We're talking about um, just checking in with our health, getting sound, um, but also making it fun and making it exciting and, and compelling and taking that concept of fitness and exercise out of the boring, mundane, tired gym routine that it's been in for so long. And so Karen, welcome to the Heart Show Girl. Hello. Tell us a bit about the Sangha Trinidad. Sangha Trinidad, okay, well we are now entering our ninth year. Ooh, glory. Yeah of being around. Um, we offer yoga, different types of yoga pr programs, and we try to be a very holistic okay. sort of approach. So there's yoga? Well, we do different styles of yoga. Right. Right? So there'd be a slower pace, more senior friendly, mm -hmm. half the yoga. We might do uh, Shivananda, which is an older traditional style yoga. Right. We do Vinyasa, which is more fast pace. We might oh, try get it, get yeah, it. headstands, pump, pump. handstands, Ooh, that kind of thing. Work. That sounds like my class. Yeah, headstands, headstands, uh -huh. splits. <laughs> and that then we'll me. do a, a moksha yoga as well as something else that we offer. Okay. There was something you teach me for a class called... Was it frog? A frog? No, frog. Bad look ba What? Frog? Some, yes. What okay. you were showing me? Frog is actually part of a series called yin yoga. So right. it's more of a gentle stretch. So what that means is instead of you holding it show, for a few breaths, show me, show me. Right? Mm -hmm. you're going to hold for minutes. So wait, wait, wait. You need to oh, turn both around. Oh, what are we doing? Yes. Uh -huh. Turn around, face this direction. Mm -hmm. So that way you don't give so me butt double action. Up. Right. Right. You go double up. And then you're going to open your knees as wide as you can. Get up, open knees. I hope y'all are getting this. Right? Open, open, open your eyes. Woo! I could go low. Stretch right. me. Well, what I might do to help you get uh -huh. there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right? You might open, open you up. Open my, open my teeth. Yes! I'm feeling it! Get my next one. Yes! Ooh, you drift me there. Yes! Compress and pull! And that feels good? <laughs> I feel the spirit. I feel the spirit with that one, Karen. Oh, boom. Woo, you do me. Alright. And so, so that was to stretch your inner thighs, your okay. quads, your, your adductors. So it's not only about just, so we know the stretching aspect of yoga, but additionally, mm -hmm. and, and yours is also, it's basically hot yoga because it's not in an air conditioning room. No air conditioning. And so there's stretching and the other major component of it is? Balance, focus. So a lot of people think, you know, when they come to yoga, the first thing they do, so what is yoga? Is it just, hmm, chanting and making sounds? No, no, no. Okay. There's different elements to yoga. Meditation and meditation with chanting is one element. Okay. Yeah? Nice. But there's so many different other parts. How can we contact you? What are your classes schedule like? Oh, my gosh. How my schedule is all day long, every day of the and week. And it's online. It's online. Nice. So if you go to www.sangayogatrinidad.com. Nice, and we'll have a link it. right here. Yes. Now, just so you know, Sangha means community. And you okay. mentioned community. Yes. yes. For me, it was really important that we all came together as a family. Mm -hmm. And we, and you, so it's like you're having an individual practice. You just happen to be in a group of different people. I love it. I love it. Karen, I want to tell you, thank you so much for taking time to come stop on the show. It is marvelous. One of the reasons why I brought Karen on, one of the reasons why I brought she on, is because I think it is so imperative, so crucial, so important for us to check in on our health. We as Caribbean women, Men, we as Caribbean people, the food that we eat, the lifestyle that we live is naturally built 
on just heavy, a thickness, a lusciousness, the everything, the food that we make is rich in fats and sugars and oils and everything. Um, and it's important for us to check in, not only on the physical side of things, as both of our guests brought on today, but also on the, the inner side, what's happening with me internally, whether it be checking in with my sexuality as a person, as a being, whether it be checking in with the community, what community am I based in, how can my um, forms of exercises and things that I do my, for myself yeah. help me in life? To overcome any obstacle in life. Karen, thank make you, you so much. a better human than you can be. That's it right there. Better human than we could be. I'm being silly, but I really, really appreciate it. I want you all to stay tuned. Up next week, we will have something even more fabulous for you on Keep It Real. This has been Femme Fitness with yours truly, Ms. Cheney.